Introducing your swimmers in the fastest seated heat lane number one from the University of Cincinnati, Dean Selmanovic. Lane two representing the Ohio State University, Braden Seal. Lane three, Gator Swim Club, Mitch DeRigo. Your top seed in lane four, swimming unattached, Zane Grothy. In five from the University of Louisville, Marcelo Acosta. Lane six, University of Cincinnati, Christopher Brady. Lane seven, representing Badger Swim Club, Jack Collins. Lane 8, University of Louisville, T.C. Smith. Heat 3, men's 1650-yard freestyle. Record established in November by Anton Ibsen of NC State at 14.39.05. That's the top time in the NC2A Division I rankings right now, and the only swimmer under the NC2A A standard. That qualifying time is a 14.40.75. The meet record and former American record is a 14.352 set in 2014 by Connor Yeager with Club Wolverine. The U.S. Open and American record time is a 14.22.41 set at the 2017 NC2A Champs by Clark Smith of Texas. And we'll keep an eye on Smith's splits as Grothy already breaking one of Smith's distance freestyle records at this meet, taking down the 500 freestyle. So we'll see pretty quickly here if anyone's going to keep pace with the same growth that you've got Mitch DeRigo of Gators Room Club and Lane Free. He's got a great history, second place finisher at the 2016 NC2A Champs in the 500. And you got Marcelo Acosta, the 2017 World Championship swimmer from El Salvador, representing the University of Louisville. He's in Lane 5. Here comes Grothy to the 250 meter turn. 206.5, nearly two seconds under American record pace from Grothy early on. Clark Smith's 500 times earlier this year. He was out in a 420, then had a 425 and a 422. So a very tall order here to challenge the 1422 mark. Held by the Texan, Clark Smith. Grothy does go up a bit there to 26.2 after holding 25s through the first 250 yards. So a chance for some history tonight in the McCorkle Aquatic Pavilion. Don't hesitate to try to help out these swimmers here, especially Zane Grothy in lane four. Just give him a wave. Let him know he's doing a good job as he works through this demanding race. Dorigo's in second, Acosta in third, and Braden Seal in fourth from lane two for Ohio State. Looking for a 327.7 or better 
to challenge that American record. And at 325-1, now over two and a half seconds under. American record pace. And Zane Grothy looking comfortable as he's working through this first 500 in record pace now, exactly three seconds under pace. Grothy was the national champion this summer in the 400 meter freestyle, runner up in the 800 meter event. And he went on to represent Team USA at the Budapest World Championships. And let's check that first 500. 4, 17, 41 from Grothy. That's a time that would have placed fifth place here at the Winter National Championships in the men's 500 freestyle. Dorigo was a 4.23.5. Also a very good split at the 500. Same for the 4.25.80 from Acosta in lane five. Grothy, another 26 low and a full four seconds on an American record pace. So no doubt, Grothy coming off that 500. That was Thursday night where Grothy set that American record in the 500 free, undoubtedly giving him a boost of confidence. For the remainder of the competition, he had a very strong finish in the 200 freestyle last night. Grothy ended up finishing second overall with a 133.28 beating out Mitch Dorigo. Grothy nears the halfway point of this race. This turn will mark 750 yards. And he is still way under American record pace, 4.11 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a great swim. As Zane Grothy doing his best Katie Ledecky impersonation, leading the field by 20 yards. At the 800, we see a 6 55 21 from Grothy. Smith was a 6.59.4 at this point. And Grothy showing no signs of fatigue. Continuing to split 26 lows. That's a 26.2 on the last 50. There's the 900 turn for Grothy, over four and a half seconds under American record pace. You've had only seven swimmers in history break the 1425 mark in this event, led by Clark Smith in that 1422 four. He had that incredible NC2A championship mile that produced the four fastest 1650 swims in history with Smith, Felix Albach, 
Akram Mahmoud and Jordan Velomonsky. So we might get a chance here to see the first ever swimmer break 14 minutes and 20 seconds in the 1650 yard free. At the 1,000, you've got an 840.47 from Zane Grothy. And Dorigo at 851.52. That's a great 1,000 split from Dorigo. Acosta at 859.69. Brady, 902.44. He's currently in fourth from lane number six. Grothy now coming into the 1,100-yard turn. And he's getting faster. Descending the last 450s, 26-2 from Grothy, now into the final 500 yards. Starting to close in on lapping this field here at the National Championships. Mitch DeRigo at 10-13-26. Dorigo's got a personal best time of 14.38.40. Sixth place finisher this year at the World University Games in the 200 freestyle. Dorigo was also a finalist in the 400 free, where he took eighth at the World University Games. Six one from Grothy now over five seconds under American record pace with just 350 yards remaining. yards to go over six seconds under pace 11 43 69 at the 1350 ladies and gentlemen we are witnessing one of the greatest swims in usa swimming history here in lane number four from zane grothy And he continues to hold pace 26-0 on that 50 from Grothy. Twenty-six one. 5.8 seconds under. Ladies and gentlemen, as impressive as this is, he could use your support through the final seven lengths. Make some noise for Zane Grothy. Twenty-six-one again, identical splits. Dorigo holding form in second. And Acosta in third. Jack Collins has moved into fourth from lane number seven.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, with just 100 yards to go, let's get on our feet for Zane Grothy. Let's get him home. Twenty-six zero on that fifty, and Grothy has just looked pretty much the same throughout this entire race. Holding speed, twenty-five eight on the penultimate fifty. The American record is a fourteen twenty-two. For the next five seconds, until Zane Grothy turns in a 14, 18, 25, a new pool championship meet U.S. Open and American record. Dorigo pulls in with a 14.43.87. And in the race for fourth, Acosta and Brady duking it out. Third will go to Acosta at a 14.54.95. Brady gets the win over Collins in the race for fourth. 14.56.6, Collins at 14.56.9.